Hi, hello. In this video, I will mention the spoils of War Sura. And uh, generally, I will mention about fighting for the name of God. So, mostly, um, they use religion for political purposes and they distort the message to, to make the message fit their ideology and then they teach others like uh, some sort of um, um, religion. So here there are conditions and situations you can make war and so you cannot simply randomly uh, hurt other people just because they are not believers. It's not allowed. So let's read some verses. Recall that your Lord inspired the angels. I'm with you, so support those who believed. I will tr throw terror into their hearts of those who disbelieved. You may strike them about necks and you may strike even with every finger. This is what they have unjustly incurred by fighting God. So, the, the verse 12 um, says it, however, so we have to read verse this verse with the, with the next one, right? This is the right one. You cannot just see this. And this is what they have unjustly incurred by fighting God and his messengers. So it means they have started it and it's a defense for those who fight against God and his messenger. God's retribution is severe. This is the punish the disbelievers. They have incurred the retribution of the hell. And uh, we believe if you encounter the disbelievers who have mobilized against you, do not turn back and flee. So, so they have mobilized against you. So they are attack. They are waiting to attack you. So still they are still the one who started. Anyone who turns back. So don't. It says don't escape if they attack you, except to carry out a battle plan. Or to join this group has incurred so brought from God and his abode is hell what a miserable destiny it was not you who killed them God is the one who killed them it wasn't you would throw when you throw and God is the one who threw but he does gives the believers a chance to earn a lot of credit God is here omniscient Additionally, God does notifies the schemes of the disbelievers. You sought victory, and victory did come. It belonged to the, the believers. If you refrain, it would be better for you, but if you return, so will we. Your armies will never help you, no matter how greedy, for God is on the side of the believers. Oh, you believe, by God and his messenger, and do not disregard him. The worst creatures in the sight of God are the deaf and the dumb, do not understand, who do not understand. God known of any good in them, he would have made them hearers. Even if he made them hearers, they still will turn away in aversion. So, all you will believe, you shall respond to God and to the messenger. So, it means leader. Your leader, when he invites you to what gives you life. You should know that God is closer to you than your heart, and that before him you will be summoned. Beware of a retribution that may not be limited to the evildoers evil among you. You should know that God's retribution is severe. So here we see that there is a defense, and um, all of them are based on uh, not escape if they attack you, and it doesn't say simply be passive. So, but it doesn't say that actively attack them and make war. So, so we should understand what's going on within the with the light of Quran. And we we cannot endorse people who randomly damage other people. It cannot be endorsed, and they cannot. They shouldn't hurt people. Don't attack you. It's not allowed. You cannot do like collateral damage or some something like that is indeed not allowed here so and if they do it they will go to hell indeed there's no you know 
there's no chance. So they cannot just kill someone randomly and just thinking that, oh, God will forgive me and I will go to heaven, and it's wrong. So anyway, that's all I want to mention, and I suggest them to read Quran very carefully. And that's all I want to say in this video, and thanks for watching this video, and hope to see you in the next video.